आपण फर्स्ट टॉपिकचं डिस्कशन मागच्या लेक्चरमध्ये सुरुवात केलेलं आहे रिएक्शन मेकॅनिझम स्ट्रक्चर अँड रिएक्टिव्हिटी इन द इंट्रोडक्शन वी हॅव स्टडीड वॉट इज मीन बाय रिएक्शन मेकॅनिझम जनरली इन केमिकल रिएक्शन देर इज अ कन्व्हर्जन ऑफ रिएक्टन इन टू प्रॉडक्ट बट दिस कन्व्हर्जन ऑफ रिएक्टन इन टू प्रॉडक्ट मे बी टेक्स प्लेस इन टू नंबर ऑफ स्टेट्स दॅट कन्व्हर्जन मे इन्व्हॉल्व फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सम रिएक्शन इंटरमिडिएट also during that conversion some bonds undergo breaking and some new bonds are formed and that detail information about the reaction means how actually reactant convert into the product that detail information is called reaction mechanism and in this topic we are going to discuss some of the important concept related to the reaction mechanism and we have already studied types of organic reaction generally organic reactions are classified into four types first is the substitution reaction second addition reaction then elimination and rearrangement reaction we have studied that four types in detail with their sub classification as well as their examples also and let us see next point uh, again a very important concept related to the reaction mechanism now what is meant by reaction intermediates okay now suppose in a chemical reaction that reacts we know that reactants are first convert into some intermediate during each and every chemical reaction reactants are first convert into intermediate and then that intermediate further converts into corresponding product this is the general trend of each and every organic reaction and that intermediates which are formed during the organic reactions are called reaction intermediates okay now let us see example carbocations then second one carbanions free radicals carbenes nitrines benzenes or they are also known as arenes and lastly elides actually these are some of the examples of reaction intermediates which are formed during the organic reaction and to study the mechanism to study the reactivity of organic reaction we must know about the what type of reaction intermediate is formed during the reaction now let us start with the first one carbocation okay now we are going to discuss that carbocation in detail generally in five step first one is the introduction second is the generation means how that carbocation is generated during the organic reaction then third structure that means actually what is the hydrogenation of central carbon what should be the geometry and bond angle in that molecule sorry in that species in that reaction intermediate etc third is the stability that means we are just going to discuss comparative stability of carbocation and lastly about the reactivity means we have to study some some examples of organic reactions which involve formation of carbocation as an intermediate now let us start with the first step introduction now what is mean by carbocation let us see simple example suppose this is organic compound in this organic compound there is a covalent bond between carbon and x suppose this bond undergo heterolytic breaking if there is a heterolytic breaking then what happens here during the bond breaking that electron pair completely goes towards x suppose that x is a more electronegative then this bonded electron pair completely goes towards that x and it acquire negative charge while carbon acquires positive charge thus there is a positively charged carbon species and this intermediate is called carbocation okay now how will you define okay i will explain some main properties of carbocation suppose this is the carbocation species how many covalent bonds are there in the carbocation carbon having three covalent bond I mean it's a valency is a three simply we can say that it is a trivalent carbon species then second carbon having positive charge yes it is positively charged okay now how many electrons are there in the valence shell of carbon okay this bond having two electron then second bond having two electron third bond also having two electron means totally there are six electrons in its valence shell it is trivalent it having positive charge 
and there are six electrons in its valence cell and thus the trivalent positively charged carbon species which having six electrons in its valence cell is called carbocation this is very simple concept now what's about the electron deficiency is it electron deficient or electron rich species it is electron deficient species why it is electron deficient because central carbon having only six electrons in its valence cell we know that according to the octet theory to attain the stability atom should have eight electrons in its valence cell but this carbon having only six electron means it having two electron less to complete its octet means there is a deficiency of electron okay now in a chemical reaction that carbocation act as a electrophilic reagent why it is electrophile because it having positive charge and there is electron deficiency and we know that any species which having positive charge and uh, which is electron deficient species they are called as a electrophilic reagent and thus that carbocation is an electrophile okay that carbocation having only six electron in its valence cell therefore in chemical reaction it having tendency to accept the electron pair from another substance okay and therefore according to the lewis theory it is called as a lewis acid it act as a lewis acid okay what is mean by lewis acid and base suppose any substance donate electron pair then it is called base according to lewis theory and suppose it accept electron pair then it is called acid according to the lewis theory and here that carbocation having tendency to accept electron pair and therefore it is lewis acid okay this is just about the introduction in introduction we have studied definition of carbocation the trivalent positively charged carbon species which having six electron in its valence cell is called carbocation then also about some properties one it is electron deficient species it is an electrophile and it act as a lewis acid this is example of carbocation suppose central carbon is attached to the three methyl group and it having positive charge then it is carbocation very simple example now let us see structure of carbocation apan khup detail madhe nahi hai but in short we are going to discuss structure of carbocation okay this is the carbocation central carbon having three covalent bond there is a positive charge on the central carbon okay now in the carbocation what should be the hybridization of central carbon the hybridization of central carbon is sp2 means 1s orbital and 2p orbital of carbon atom they mix up and recast to form three new orbital that process is called sp2 hybridization and that hybrid orbitals are called sp2 hybrid orbitals that three sp2 hybrid orbital of central carbon overlaps axially with another orbital to form three covalent bond suppose this is the first one second one and third one there are three sigma covalent bond that carbon also having one unhybridized orbital one p orbital of carbon do not participate in the mixing and recasting means there is a one unhybridized orbital suppose this is a one unhybridized orbital of carbon and it lies perpendicular to the main plane then what should be the geometry and what should be the bond angle we know that if the hybridization is sp2 then geometry is a trigonal planar all the atoms they lies in a single plane and here bond angle should be the 120 degree this is about the structure of carbocation okay first point ya madhe apan kay sangtoy just hybridization of carbon is a sp2 then second that sp2 hybrid orbital form a three covalent bond third there is an hybridized tpz orbital which lies perpendicular to the main plane and last point ya madhe yes geometry is a trigonal planar with bond angle 120 degree now let us see next point how that carbocations are generated during the organic reaction third point is the generation in organic reaction that carbocations are generated they are formed by using different organic compound 
For example, first one is the from alkyl halide. Let us see how they are generated from alkyl halide. Okay, this is the general example of alkyl halide. Carbon is attached to the halogen. That X, it may be iodine, bromine, chlorine, etc. Suppose this organic compound, this alkyl halide undergo heterolytic bond breaking. And generally, that heterolytic bond breaking takes place in the presence of polar solvent. Now, what happens here? During the heterolytic bond breaking, that bonded electron pair goes towards halogen. It acquires negative charge and carbon acquires positive charge. And we get the car positively charged carbon species. And this is nothing but the carbocation. This is very simple way for the generation of uh, carbocation. Usually, there is a breaking of uh, a bond between the carbon and halogen, and we get the carbocation. Let us see second point by using alkene. That means by using olefinic compound. Suppose a very simple example: CH2 double bond CH2. This is ethene molecule. When this ethene molecule comes in contact with H plus ion, what happens here? The pi bond between the two carbon atoms undergo breaking, and there is a formation of new bond between one carbon and hydrogen. This is called protonation. Okay, now that H plus ion, that hydrogen adds to one carbon, while what's about the second carbon? Here, that second carbon acquire positive charge, and there is a formation of positively charged carbon species, and this is nothing but the carbocation. This is the second way in which carbocations are generated just by using alkene. Let us see next method by using alcohol from alcohol. Okay. Now let us see general example ROH. When this alcohol comes in contact with proton, here that alcohol undergo protonation. We know that in alcohol, oxygen having a lone pair of electron. Okay. Now this lone pair of electron from the oxygen, it form a bond with hydrogen means that hydrogen adds to the oxygen and there is a formation of protonated alcohol. Here, that oxygen acquires positive charge because during this bond formation, when you have bond pair with the electron pair completely donated by oxygen. Hence, it acquires positive charge. This is called protonated alcohol. Now, this protonated alcohol loses water molecule. Bond between carbon and oxygen undergo breaking, that electron pair goes towards oxygen and there is a loss of water molecule. And what's about the alkyl group? What's about the carbon? It acquires positive charge. That R group, that alkyl group acquires positive charge. And this is the thing with the carbocation. If alkyl group, if carbon having positive charge, this is called carbocation. Thus, that carbocation can be generated from alcohol. Let us see next method from disonium salt. Actually, what is the disonium salt? We know that if any primary amine, if any primary amine is treated with the HNO2 and HCl, it undergo disotization. That reaction is carried out at low temperature, near about zero degree Celsius temperature, and we get the disonium salt, disonium ion. Actually, this is disonium ion R and triple bond N, central nitrogen having positive charge. Now this disonium salt, that disonium ion, may be undergo decomposition. Here, nitrogen having positive charge. Therefore, what happens? The bond between alkyl group, that is carbon, electron pair goes towards nitrogen. It becomes neutral. That nitrogen becomes neutral. And there is a loss of nitrogen gas. Well, that carbon, that alkyl group, that R group, it acquire positive charge. It acquire positive charge and there is a formation of positively charged species and this is nothing but the carbocation. Thus, disonium ion can be converted into or it on a decomposition gives corresponding intermediate and this is nothing but the carbocation. Let us see one more by using acyl halide. Okay, this is just different type of carbocation. This is uh, acid, actually acyl chloride. With that acyl halide or acyl chloride on a reaction with AlCl3. AlCl3 is the example of Lewis acid catalyst. What happens here? There is a formation of bond between chlorine and aluminum, but this is a partial bond. 
while simultaneously the bond between carbon and chlorine it is partially broken and that is called transition state and this is the complex actually and, uh, which is formed in the transition state मग पुढे काय होतं तर या बॉन्डचं कम्प्लीट ब्रेकिंग होतं आणि इथून सीएल या ठिकाणी जो आहे दॅट क्लोरिन डायरेक्टली अटॅच टू द अल्युमिनियम देर इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एल सी एल फोर वॉट्स अबाउट दॅट कार्बन कार्बोनिल कार्बन दॅट कार्बोनिल कार्बन ऍक्वार पॉझिटिव्ह चार्ज अँड दिस इज अगेन कार्बोकॅटायन बट दिस इज नॉट नॉर्मल अल्किल कार्बोकॅटायन दिस इज कॉल असिल कार्बोकॅटायन ओके दस देर इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ असिल कार्बोकॅटायन बाय युझिंग असिल हलाईट okay this is just about the generation of carbocation we are just discussing about the reaction intermediates okay we have studied introduction of carbocation that means what is mean by carbocation some properties of carbocation etc then second point madhe apan kay pahila structure of carbocation what is the hybridization of uh, central carbon how it form three sigma covalent bond and what is the geometry and bond angle in the carbocation while third जो पॉइंट आहे जनरेशन यामध्ये आपण पाहिलं हाऊ द कार्बोकॅटाइन्स आर जनरेटेड बाय युझिंग अल्किल हालाइड बाय युझिंग अल्किन बाय युझिंग डायझोनियम आयन बाय युझिंग असिल हालाइड एक्सेट्रा 